game preservation. That's generally not a good sign. Always knew this day would come. The apocalypse! Okay, so I have nothing except an Android device, an internet modem, severe radiation poisoning, and just a hankering to play all the Sonic the Hedgehog games. Yeah, that's probably the radiation door. Growing up, I dreamt of my glass brick being able to play all sorts of Sonic games, from the classic games to the modern games. However, that was just a fever dream. I mean, Temple Run set my Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 into an everlasting coma. But that was 10 years ago. I mean, now we're living in the modern age where I'm able to make this video. So let's ask the age-old question. How many Sonic games are playable on Android? Thank God, I have a backup studio. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It's, uh, it's most of them, but, uh, stick around and I'll show you how. Alrighty, let's set some ground rules before we start, because I don't want to confuse you, and I definitely don't want to confuse me. We'll primarily be discussing the mainline games. However, spin-offs are not off the cards. I just don't remember them all. I'm not that autistic. Oh, and also, no cloud streaming services available here, only games that are able to run natively on the device itself, so... Fuck <laughs> off with your Google Stadias or your Amazon Lunas or... whatever. So let's start with the classic era. Yeah, you already know the answer to this. Sonic 1, 2, and CD are all playable through native ports that have been available on mobile for at least over five years now. I mean, if you didn't know this, where have you been? Alternatively, you could give a middle finger to capitalism and emulate these games on your phone using your legally acquired copies of the game. Oh, come on! I said the thing! Yeah, so for legal reasons, I should probably preface that any mention of emulators should come under the notion that any game, BIOS, or key files should be acquired by yourself legally. So, thank god that my entire Sonic collection survived the fire. But now, you might be asking, what about Sonic 3? I mean, this game hasn't been released officially on mobile, and you'd be correct. But fortunately, there is a mobile port of Sonic Air, which is a complete remake of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. The game is a feature-complete version of Sonic 3, including the ability to switch out tracks, a level select, and even switching out abilities. The link to the APK file will be found in the description down below, including everything else I mentioned within this video, so go check it out. Alternatively, you could just emulate the game, but that does mean that you are boring. So that's the mainline classic games I the way, but what about the spin-off games? Does this look understandable to you? Of course, there is a way to play these games on Android. Listen, if there's a console that existed pre-2000s, there is an emulator for it on Android, trust me. So all the Game Gear games and the Master System games, they're all covered here. But as we enter the 32-bit era of gaming, we start to see some problems around. Okay, so there is a mobile Saturn emulator, but... Honestly, my recommendation if you want to play Sonic R is just to check out Sonic Gems Collection through the Dolphin emulator on Android. Whilst it still might be a little bit of a headache, trust me, some of the difficulties that you have to go through to get Saturn to work on Android, it goes beyond my technical comprehension. Also, through the Gems Collection, you can play Sonic the Fighters, which is f***ing sick. But all in all, of course, yes, every single game in the classic era is playable on Android. Although I doubt any of you are questioning that. But now, we enter a world filled with high quality audio. 128 bits of... stuff. And soap shoes. Of course, I'm talking about... <laughs> I'll cut to the chase. Both adventure games are easily playable, either through a Dreamcast emulator or a Dolphin emulator. Although, for the adventure games, I do believe that you'll find more luck trying to emulate these games through a Dreamcast emulator, either through Raycast, Flycast, or Redream. You can play these games at 60 FPS, widescreen, at pretty much any resolution you'd like. Oh, and by the way, all the footage you're seeing behind me is running on a Snapdragon 695. 
which I mean is kind of like a mid-range of phone. So chances are that if you're on an Android device, you are running with something comparable or even better. So a running theme within this video is the Dolphin emulator, as most of the Sonic games from the 2000s can be run on either a GameCube or a Wii. And so with this emulator, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Heroes, both the Riders games, they're all available here too. Simply extract the ISO files for these games and whack them in the emulator and you're golden. So far, so good. Every single game that I've mentioned so far has been playable on Android and come on, you've just got to ruin things. Yeah, there's no way of emulating an Xbox or a PS3. And so, Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 is definitely off the cards. Or is it? Now, if you're a sadist and you absolutely must play this game, there is a port by Beats, and it's actually pretty good, although it is very feature incomplete. It's based off of Project 06, which is a fan port based on the original game, so it's kind of like a port for a port. So, uh, I thought that I scripted some sort of smooth segue into the modern era, but uh, apparently I didn't. So... <laughs> Uh, introducing the modern era, I guess. The modern era. Before we get to... And... Let me quickly go over Sonic Colors and the DS title. Just as Heroes, Sonic Colors is very much playable here through the Dolphin emulator. It requires no more setting up than those games do, just whack the ISO file into Dolphin and you are golden. This also means that both the storybook games are playable, although you will have to mess around with the settings to get the motion controls. There's plenty of DS games available on Android, I mean, why wouldn't there be? Honestly, I couldn't pick one for you, but if I had to, I'd probably pick Drastic, as it's the most reliable. But it can cost a pretty penny. So, honestly, I would check out some of the alternatives on the Play Store. As previously mentioned, no, there are no way of playing Xbox 360 and PS3 games on Android. Don't believe the apps on the Play Store, Timmy. You are being scammed. But if you want to get technical, the lesser versions of these games are very much playable on Android. Of course, I'm talking about Sonic Unleashed on the Wii and PS2, and Sonic Generations on the 3DS. You're definitely tired of hearing me say this, but Sonic Unleashed is playable on the Dolphin emulator. And if you're a complete f***ing maniac, you'll play the PS2 version on Aether SX2. But realistically, I do recommend that you play the Wii version, it's superior in almost every single way. Speaking of 3DS, this is the only means that you'll be able to play Sonic Lost World, as there isn't a Wii U emulator. And for better or worse, Sonic Boom is also out the question for this exact reason. But I mean, this is the version that I grew up playing, so honestly I really don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. Sonic Mania, whilst not technically being a part of the modern canon, is very much playable on Android, which is kind of weird because it is one of the most recent games in the franchise. So there is a decompilation port of this game, although you will need the Steam files for this game. It's quite a long and complicated process to set up, so I won't be able to help you now, but there is a video in the description down below detailing about how you can do it. Alternatively, you could just emulate this game through a Switch emulator. There's two Switch emulators available, Skyline and Yuzu. For Sonic Mania, which is a sprite-based game, honestly, both emulators will work perfectly fine on almost any device. Simply acquire the title and production keys for your Switch, and you'll be golden. I realise that I'm saying the term golden a lot. I don't know when I started saying that. The same method is actually applicable to both Sonic Forces and Frontiers, although I think that depends on your definition of playable. So yeah, just as the PC, Android is able to preserve a lot of the Sonic games too. I'm sure as time progresses that there will be emulators and updates to emulators that make some of the games unavailable now available in the future. So check out my community tab as I will be updating it as time progresses. <coughs> anyway. Just before the radiation poisoning fully kicks in, I'll wrap this video up. So if you want more Sonic content, remember to subscribe and watch my other content. I'll be updating my community tab a lot more often with voting polls, so you guys will be able to dictate what content you would like to see. Anyway, that's it from me. If you want to learn about Sonic fan games, click over here. Alright, bye for now.